I'll explain the process when we start, but I want to tell you that we're working with a field, knowing field, that will provide information. And there's a well-known scientist, scientist who, whose name is Rupert Sheldrake, who has studied the phenomena of field and instinct with animals, originally with animals. And he has several books out. I'll just explain one, one particular thing so you get a sense of what he's talking about. So he would videotape animals who are at home when their owners go to work. And he would videotape them and be in touch with the owner when they left work or when they had a thought about leaving work and then actually started the process of going to work, like getting out of the building into their car. And at the exact same moment, that animal would go to the door and sit and wait for the owner. So there is a link, an energetic you know, these are words, we don't really have words for this stuff. There's an energetic or some kind of an intuitive link that animals have with their owners or with other animals, right? That is not known or seen that we don't quite comprehend with our mind or how we understand life right now. That, you know, animals routinely are in touch with. And he documented this, he studied this, he's a fascinating guy, you may want to look him up, there's video, YouTube videos on him, Rupert Sheldrake. And so when he came to see this work, at one point, many years ago, I met Bert Helling and was invited, they had a discussion, him and Bert Helling and another woman, and he said, this is the first time I see it in action with human people, with human beings, with people that same field that he had studied for many years with animals. So we are working with something that, you know, there are no words for, but we are all linked, and later I'll show you my visuals. Some of you have seen my visuals, know already what you're gonna see. But we are linked, obviously because that's who and what we really are, an energy field that knows everything that has ever happened in all of, human history, and we're linked to that field. We are actually that field, that consciousness, our way in this field. And so, from, from that field, if we allow that field to guide us, which is what we're going to be doing here this, today, then information can show up that our mind cannot know. We have no idea what happened. 10 generations back, which may today influence us that we may be angry all the time. Or a hundred generations back, because we are afraid all the time, or whatever, I'm just making something up. So my job is to make, and this is what I learned initially, how to put Margot aside, make myself completely empty, everything that I thought that I had studied, that I knew about constellation work, about the different orders within family generations, and I had to put everything aside to make myself completely empty so I could hear another word that doesn't make sense in, in, regular, in regular terms, but so I could hear a sense or know or see what was necessary for each person. Because I didn't, how do I know? I mean, how do I know anything? I know nothing, I, you know, how I can help somebody. So by sitting with somebody, hearing what they're saying they want for their life, you know, this greater field then shows me, in a way, what they need. 